Oh, hey, good morning. I thought I had canceled, but here we go. All right, this is Barbie Lee. Good morning. Welcome. Hello, world. We are here for Shake Talk this morning. And as always, I have the best breakfast ever, my Isogenic Chocolate Mint Isolene Shake. And I thought we'd talk this week um, and probably a few more weeks about the 15 commitments of conscious. I spelt that wrong. Did I spell that wrong? Oh, I think I spelled that wrong. Anyways, um, the 15 commitments of conscious leadership. Um, it's a great book. We're actually doing it at the uh, Center for Spiritual Living right now as a community. And so I have all the commitments on my phone. That's why I'm looking at my phone so you just know that I'm not like, you know, texting or something while I'm talking. Um, because it's like we don't Facebook live and drive, right? So we don't Facebook live and text at the same time. Um, so brought to you by the best breakfast ever. That's my little pitch. Okay. So, ooh. Quality of life assurance, too. We have to remember that piece. Hey, good morning, everybody that's joining in. Thanks for jumping in. All right. So what is, what are, what is, mm, oh, oh, what are the 15 commitments of conscious leadership? Well, we're going to go through them over the next couple of weeks. Probably something I'll do on Monday, you know, maybe do, yeah, actually, I think I'll do, see, I'm just thinking of these things through. I'll do them on Monday, and then we'll talk about them throughout the week. How about that? Okay. Gives us next 15 weeks plan, so make sure you're here, right? Okay, so the the idea of conscious leadership is being aware of what you do and why you do it and what results you get, right? So I like to also call this book 15 Commitments of Conscious Living, right? 15 Commitments of a Conscious Person, 15 Commitments of Just Getting Life Done Well, right? Okay, so commitment number one. So there's a whole thing about above the line and below the line. And you can research this. You can go into YouTube and watch all the little doodly videos. They're really cute. And you can go online and check out them, uh, their website. Um, and, uh, you know, you can download the book. I have it on um, Kindle. So all kinds of ways to get more information. I'm just going to kind of give you a little teaser. So if you think that you want to, uh, you know, get the book and jump in with the conversation, you're more than welcome to. Because I love having really great conversations about really great books. So good morning. Hi, Tammy. All right. So commitment number one says, I commit to taking full responsibility for the circumstances of my life and for the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. I commit to supporting others to take full responsibility for their lives. Okay. So that's a pretty good commitment, right? Now, that's above the line. So the whole thing is about are you above the line or below the line? And not in a judgmental way, but in a in a thought-provoking, where am I thinking right now? Right? Good morning, Jeffrey. Or maybe it's afternoon. I think you might be on the other side of the world. Um, so where's my thinking right now? So am I, am I above the line or below the line? So the above the line, I'll read it again. I commit to taking full responsibility for the circumstances of my life and for my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being, I commit. Oh, sorry, yeah, I commit to supporting others to take full responsibility for their lives. So that's above the line. And what it says below the line is, I commit to blaming others and myself for what is wrong in the world. Okay, blaming. See the word blaming. I commit to being a victim, a villain, or even a hero, and taking more or less than 100% responsibility. Isn't that interesting? So being the hero role puts you above, above below the line, right? So it's really a fascinating book to really look at and say, how am I doing life, right? And especially if you're in a role of leadership and anybody that has any friend in their life is in a role of leadership because it's how we interact with others. That's what leadership is all about, right? So in this taking radical responsibility, for me, my interpretation of commitment number one. So I looked at the word radical and radical means like above all else, beyond all um, normalcy, okay? So what I would consider to be normal, radicals on the other end of it, right? Now, don't look at me in normal because I have a whole different definition of normal, right? But radical to me is, is no matter what, it's like, it's like looking at it all, and just doing it, right? That's radical. And then responsibility to me, the definition of responsible is mean be, being able to respond from spirit, God, infinite power, energy, potato, whatever you call your, your guide, right? So for me, taking radical responsibility means if something shows up in my world that I know I can better, that I know I can uh, be a part of the conversation 
then that's my responsibility to be a part of that conversation and to now not take it on and not do, you know, this, ooh, like take on the world kind of thing. It, it, it's not about that. What it's about is, oh, my elbow's so cold, sorry. Um, what it, what's it about? What it's about is taking responsibility for me. What is mine to do here? Okay. Oh. So I want you to kind of look at today about what is radical responsibility to you. What is your definition of radical responsibility? Look it up. Look at the etymology of the words. Because when we come back on Wednesday, so I'm going to go Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for my Shake Talks. So when we're back on Wednesday, we're going to talk about where are you taking radical responsibility, committing above the line, and where are you below the line? Again, not a judgment, but just a way to understand the difference of where you are and where you want to be. So I have this little uh, card and I will post it in the video below so you can have a copy of the commitment and then you can um, you know, look it up online and I'll find the links and I'll put them below in this video as well. So let's have a great conversation over these next few weeks about these commitments and let's just elevate ourselves, right? Let's elevate ourselves. Oh, I'm so excited. Have an amazing day and make sure if you're not having the quality of life that you want, let me know. Let's have a conversation. Have a great day.